Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the new Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. And when I first saw this beauty on Instagram, I was blown away because these are my kind of colors right here. Yes, it's a nude palette, but it's pinky nudes, it's purples, it's mauves, it's not your typical brown shades. And um, even some of these shades down here that look brown, um, in Huda's video that she did when she first um, talked about this palette, she was saying how the browns actually go on with more of a rosy tone to them. So they're not your typical browns, they don't look exactly like they do in the pan on your eyes. And one thing that's also really interesting to note about this palette is the range of textures and finishes that are in here. There's some unique things so let me read the back of the box it says there are 18 shades ranging from cool to warm tones there are 10 buttery mattes that blend seamlessly with your skin four multi reflective shadows with a versatile pearly to iridescent finish two pressed glitters one pressed pearl or like regular shimmer shade and then there's also one concealer base to help make your shadows pop so um, I thought that was really interesting too that she included this concealer base which is down here. I was thinking it was a nude shade and then I went to swatch it and realized it was a cream. So it's good and it's bad. Um, I think on the one hand, it's nice to have that tacky base in here, especially to help make these glitter shades pop right here in the middle or these interesting looking pearly shades. Um, but I also am not a fan of having cream shadows mixed with uh, powders because these powders that are around it already, I've gotten a little bit of powder from this shade into the concealer base which kind of just makes it messy and also I feel like over time it's going to dry out so that's kind of the negative about it I think most people have a concealer or a base already that they like to use with shadows it just like makes it a little bit more convenient to have it right here in the palette for you but um, other than that I am really blown away by these pearly shades right here they just look kind of like nothing I've ever seen they have they look chunky um, I thought they would be when I touched my finger into them but they don't have a lot of fallout they are just the most stunning pearly finish ever and whenever I'm doing eyeshadow looks I always struggle with getting that really shiny foiled look on my eyelids and with these it was effortless. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't even use the base for my look today and my eyeshadow looks so shimmery and shiny but not glittery and I think that's what I gravitate toward more. I love having that pearly shine on my lids but not necessarily glitter. So even if I was able to find a shade for shade dupe of this palette, I think what makes it truly unique is all of the different finishes in here. You can really create so many different eye looks. If you want to do all matte, there's a ton of mattes in here. You know, if you want to do a glittery eye look, you have your glitters. And if you just want that really beautiful foiled shiny look, you have these pearly shades in here. So it's really, really cool. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you some swatches. I'll just swatch each type individually and then I'll show you swatches of the entire palette. So first let's do the matte shades. So the first shade from left to right is Bare and then you have Play, Love Bite, Spanked, Lace which is like that beautiful light lavender shade, Tickle, Secret, Tease, Raw, and Teddy. And then next let's do those pearly shades. So the first one is Crave, the second one is Fantasy, and then Daydream, and the last one is Charmed. And then for the last set of swatches I'll do the two glitters and then the regular shimmer shades. So the first glitter is Excite, and then the next one is Infatuated, and then the shimmer shade is called Kinky. And then as far as this concealer shade goes right here, in Huda's video she was saying that it works for all skin tones and at first when I saw it I thought how could that be? Um, but once I swatched it I realized this is extremely sheer. It's almost like translucent so I would not call it a concealer per se. I don't think it's really going to hide anything on your eyes if you have veins coming through or any discoloration. I don't think this is going to hide anything. It's really just sort of a sheer tacky base more than a concealer even though that's what it says in here. So um, I can see how it really could work for everybody because it completely shears out to nothing as you work it into your skin. So just keep that in mind that it's not going to really conceal anything. If you want to hide something on your eyelids I would just go in with a regular concealer whatever you're comfortable using. This is really 
truly just a base for the shadows. All right, so here's the entire palette swatched together. And as you can see, it is just stunning gorgeous i can't get enough of this palette i feel like this is the prettiest one that i've seen all year maybe ever i don't know i'm just so drawn to this palette i am obsessed with these colors right now so now i'm going to go ahead and show you how i got this look today really quickly and just talk a little bit about the formula as i go so uh the first shade that i used is the shade lace and this is that really light lavender it's so beautiful it's a really pretty cool tone and I find these mattes to be extremely easy to work with. They blended so nicely. They didn't have a ton of powdery kick up or fallout. Um, so I was really impressed with how these performed. Um, and then I deepened up my crease a little bit with the shade Tease, which is very similar. It's just a deeper lavender color and this is just gorgeous as well. And then I went ahead with the shade Love Bite, which is a deeper purple. And just looking at the palette, this looks like it's the deepest shade in the palette, but it's honestly not even that dark. So for that reason, and especially since I am fair skinned, I don't think this is gonna be a palette that you can create some really deep looks with. It's gonna be definitely more on the everyday sort of neutral wearable side. And then I had to try one of those pearly shades on my lid, so I went in with the shade Day Dream, which is the prettiest lavender pink shade. It's so shiny. I applied it with my finger and it blended beautifully. And then for my lower lash line, I used the shade Tease, which is the one that I used just to deepen up the crease. And it's just that really pretty cool toned deep lavender shade. And then last but not least, I applied two coats of the Illegal Eyes Mascara from Doll 10, which is one of my favorite mascaras that I've been using lately. I think it just gives a really beautiful, almost false lash look. And you guys know I don't use false lashes, so I want to get my lashes as big as I possibly can for the most impact, and this mascara definitely does that. So overall, I am loving this look. I feel like it's one of the prettiest looks I've done in a really, really long time. I just feel like it's so complimentary with my skin tone and my hair and everything. I think it just goes really well. It has all of those really soft, feminine, romantic colors in here. Okay, so now let's get into a few comparisons. A few months back when I first saw it on Instagram, it immediately made me think of the Beauty Creations Tease Me palette. So at the time I put up a stock photo of this and I compared it to the photos that were on Instagram of this palette, but it was so hard to tell if they were really truly similar or not because the lighting could have been different. I mean, you just don't know until you actually see them side by side in person. And then as I saw more photos of this and it looked like a really like sort of pastel-y um, pink and purple kind of cooler toned palette, I looked at this one in person and it just looked a little bit warmer to me. There's a lot of richer shades in here. There's some browns that this one really doesn't have, some copper shades. So I just started thinking it's really not going to be a dupe. And then when I got them home and I looked at them side by side, I kind of felt the same way. They just, I mean, they have a very similar setup and kind of similar packaging, but just looking at them in the pans, I was thinking that they were not gonna be dupes. So I kind of discounted this one. But then I swatched them side by side and I realized that they are way more similar than I thought that they would be. And that's because of these pearl shades here because they look differently swatched than they do in the pan. So once I swatched them, I realized that they really did compare to some of the shades in here. Now, keep in mind that this is just for shade dupes because this palette doesn't have the unique textures that this one has. It doesn't have those pearly shades. It just has traditional shimmers and mattes. It doesn't have the glitters. It doesn't have the concealer. But if you're looking to create similar looks, I would say this is a pretty close match. So where this one has some deeper purple shades, this one has more browns and coppers. But the shades that I did swatch together are really very close. So I think you can get a lot of similar looks out of it. Um, another palette I found in my collection that has a similar vibe to the New Nudes palette is the Tarte Love Trust and Fairy Dust palette. And this one came out back in the spring, I wanna say. Um, this one also has those kind of soft romantic shades. It has some lavenders, it has the pinks, it has gold, it has kind of like that burgundy shimmer. So it does have a similar vibe. It definitely doesn't have as many 
shades in here so you're going to be more limited plus again it doesn't have the glitters it doesn't have those pearl shades but maybe if you already have this in your collection and these types of shades aren't really your thing you may not be too into this one so just something to keep in mind and then the last palette i thought might be kind of similar is the lime crime venus xl palette this one has a lot of pink and purple shades in it too but I don't find them to be quite as muted as the ones in the new nude palette. These ones are a lot bolder and more vibrant, even though they're in kind of the same color family. So while there are a few shades that are somewhat similar, I would definitely not call this a dupe. Just because the color story is a lot richer and there are also some really like bright pops of color in here that the new nudes palette doesn't have. So um, overall, I would say the Beauty Creations Tease Me palette is probably the closest thing to a dupe that you're gonna get, but Honestly, this palette is truly unique in the finishes that it has, in the formula. So if you like the shades that are in here, I think this one is definitely worth picking up just on my initial impression and swatching it a few times. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I also forgot to mention that I think it would also be great for brides because of like those soft romantic neutral shades and I think Huda is almost alluding to that in a way because in all of her promo photos she's wearing a veil so I think this would be a gorgeous bridal palette I'm kind of wishing I had it back when I got married all right so my final thoughts of this first impression is that this palette is beautiful um, I am loving it and I think that the formula is amazing the mattes blend so beautifully and those pearl shades are unlike anything I have ever tried before they're so buttery they give the most beautiful wet look to your eyelids they're so effortless to use even the glitters are fantastic as far as glitters go they really hold together well so I think that unlike a lot of glitters that just don't want to stick to your skin these really seem to do that so I'll have to play with them more obviously but those aren't why I got this palette. I got this palette for all of these beautiful rosy neutrals and those crazy like pearly shades and these gorgeous mattes. So if you love colors like this, I would definitely give this palette my thumbs up. I know, like I said, this is just a first impression, but first impression wise, I love it. All right, guys, so that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, just your thoughts on this palette in general. Are you planning to buy it? Have you purchased it already? Um, love to chat with you guys, as always. So thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.